What's going on everyone? It's Mr. West. I hope we're all well. So welcome back to another in the Ultimate Video Test Series and this time it's for the Moto E5 Play. Now it's currently £80 and it's a phone we've looked at previously uh, doing the Ultimate Video Test in low light which I was quite surprised at. Now given this phone is at such a low price I was expecting a lot worse. Now the Moto E5 Play uses fixed focus front facing camera and it can record video at up to 1080p at 30 frames per second. Now it doesn't have any video stabilization whatsoever. So what you see is what you get. Now because there's no EIS, there's no crops, you still get this nice white field of vision. Now you could use a gimbal, and that will help improve things, but that would likely double the cost of your investment. So if you just did want to use this as a run and gun or vlogging, then by all means you could buy a gimbal. But this is what the video looks like without any stabilization whatsoever. And if I just go for a quick run, just watch my foot in on this uneven ground, you can see that things do get very, very wobbly indeed. The one thing I was nicely surprised at is that the Moto E5 Play does record in stereo sound. It was not the richest of audio recording, but it is nice to have that kind of spatial sound around you. I was just doing an exposure test. So look right into the sun. So the sun is there. So of course it's not going to render the sun you know, beautifully, but it does a good job, I think, given the low price and limited hardware. Now you don't get anything fancy like scene modes or anything like that with a camera on this. It's just basically this is what we're going to give you, and this is what you've got to record with. And I think it does a reasonably good job, if I'm perfectly honest. So that is the front-facing camera at 1080p at 30 frames per second. I'm going to switch to the rear camera and show you what that is about. Okay, so this is the main rear camera on the Moto E5 Play. Again, there is no stabilization offered in this mode at all, so expect plenty of bugs now. Around. I can see some drop frames as I'm moving the camera around. Not making any excuses, but I think I can probably give that for £80. Nobody buying this phone is going to expect perfect video. You're likely to buy it for a younger person who may just want to just take the occasional video, and I think for that purpose, it's absolutely fine. HDR either, so again, you'll see what you get, but you do get autofocus from the rear camera, and we'll just show you that now. So you can see if I just go through a little run here, you can just see how wobbly the image is where we move around a little bit faster. So again, you may want to look at something like a gimbal if you're wanting to keep your footage nicely stabilized. Before we do autofocus, let's check out the exposure and how it handles changes in that. So directly at the sun, right there, and if we just move around. And then down to the grass, you should see the change in exposure. There we go. So again, acceptable video for the money. Let's check out how it handles autofocus. There we go, so it's a little bit slower. One thing I have noticed when you're taking photos, it does take an age to actually capture the shot. Now as with all video tests, I have recorded some fast moving video while on the move in the car. drop frames with the faster video. But I think this phone is all about value and not out and out stunning image quality. So just 
far as detail and contrast are concerned, I think it does a good job, although you can see as I'm pointing the camera at this tree thingy, get there, so the phone is now prioritising exposure and colours on the plantation, it just moves just slightly and it moves priority to the sky instead, so we can see slight changes there. So you can pinch the zoom as well. So if you look at the flowers on this tree, so that is four times zoom, and that is standard four times. Yeah, so it's not the greatest, but the purpose of the video test is to show you what the video recording is like on this phone. Again, I've seen this for £80 in places like Argos and Amazon in the UK. It's also available elsewhere in the world as well. But I think it does a thoroughly decent job, in my opinion, for such a cheap handset. And the video is good enough for most people who aren't really massively bothered about stunning 4K video recording. This, I think, is absolutely fine for what you're paying. So that's it then. That's the end of the Moto E5 Play Ultimate Video Test. The word Ultimate does seem a little bit strange because there's only two modes, which is 1080p from the front camera and 1080p from the rear. There are modes underneath that, so you get 720p, you also get VGA, Based on viewer feedback, I won't be using those because they just pad up the video and they just waste time. Nobody really records in those resolutions. So as far as video quality goes, I think this phone is absolutely ideal for the younger people in your family or maybe you've got an elderly relative who really doesn't want overcomplicated functions on their phone. They just want something they can take a quick video with the grandkids or a concert or something like that. This is absolutely fine. Okay, it hasn't got any stabilization, but you can't expect that at 80 pounds. Maybe you can. If anyone knows what phone that has EIS at 80 pounds, then please let me know. I'm all ears. So the Moto E5 Play for me offers good value for money. It's also a really great phone as well. It's very easy to use. It's not high on features, but it does exactly what it says on the tin. And that goes for photo and video as well. The front and rear facing cameras do a decent enough job of capturing exactly what you need without any fuss. So it'd be nice to have all these lovely features that you get on higher end handsets, but don't forget, 80 pounds is not gonna get you everything. So you let me know what you think. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the Moto E5 Play camera and video, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget, if you're new around here, then please consider subscribing so you don't miss more great content coming soon, including more in the Ultimate Video Test series. But for now, this has been my look at the Moto E5 Play. My name's Mr. West, and I'll catch you guys later.